Hi everyone and welcome back to the Multiverse of 100 plus data science project series. In this video, we are going to discussing about the book recommendation system using Python and machine learning. A book recommendation system is a data driven application designed to suggest book to the user based on their preference, the reading history and also the behavior. And this video is a combination of the Hindi and English, but most of the time I am trying to use the English word. So, bina kisi darke har har mahad bal ke start karte tutorial. So, in order to build in the book recommendation system, we're going to collect the data from the stat so and this is the data set. Just you need to go on here and clicking the download the data. And inside this data, it having the four features column. Based on the features column, you, you need to recommend the books. So, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to click here to download this data. Okay, so now let's discuss about the coding part here. So, first thing first, you're going to be importing here the pandas as BD. Uh, pandas is required in order to loading the data set from the Kaggle and also do some data visualization tasks. Then we're going to be importing here the NumPy as NP for dealing with the multi-dimensional data or multi-dimensional array. Then you import here the from scalar.featureextraction.txt. We're going to be importing here the TFIDF vectorizer. This is nothing but on the vectorizer technique in the uh, textual data when you're dealing in the textual data. And because this is one textual data, so that means it's nothing but one a uh, natural language processing big stacks. So in order to uh, select the features. I mean, convert the feature in, into the numerical vector you're going to be using here the TFIDF. Also called the term frequency inverse document frequency. I mean, it will inverse the data, right? So then what you can do, you can simply import here from the SQL under matrix uh, dot pairwise input here the linear kernel. And we also do some data visualization libraries for the plotly. Plotly dot express as a PX and plotly dot graph object as a go for visualizing the graph. Then what you can do, we can simply go into uh, input here our data. It's called pd.readcsv, the books data.csv, and you're trying to printing the hat of the data. So if you try to read it here, and you can see it having the book ID, it having the title, it having the authors, it having the average rating. One, two, three, four. It having the four column. Even trying to see the information regarding your data, and you can see here all the columns are nothing but uh, this column is nothing but into the 64. And rest of them are the objects. That's mean uh, those are nothing but the string, right? You can also check in for the columns. I mean, how many columns are available? So what I can do, I simply going to go on here and let's say data dot columns. Data dot. You can press here the tab for auto suggestion. So you can see here columns and shift tab, and you can see here it have the box ID, it have the title, it have the authors, and it have the average setting. And data type is by default nothing but the objects because all of them are objects. So after uh, printing the data dot informations, I mean information in the data, it don't have any not null value. I mean not no missing value it available. If I'm trying to print one histogram, if I try to print one histogram is the plotly based on the average rating, right? I mean let's see the distribution of the average rating of the of the books. So if I try to see it of the average rating, you can see here average rating is nothing but the four. And count is nothing but 219. I mean, most of the people are rating the four of all the books. Average people, average people, counting is nothing but 2000, so not 219. And if I go on here, so average 3.696 diya hai, count number 196. So, chota to nahi dekhi. Okay, counting 28, rating 3.47. So this is how you actually distribute your average rating of the data based on your frequency. And you can see this is nothing but frequency and this is nothing but average rating. Okay. So now let's checking for the authors also. I mean, how many authors are available um, numbers in, inside the box. So index number, it actually is showing the hat 10. Hat 10 is nothing but showing the, uh, I mean, the top 10, the top 10 authors are based on the box. So if I see number of books, uh, the 14 number of books, it's called the Stephen King. Not Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking always <laughs> writes the 14 books. It's really awesome. If we try to make it, let's say 20. It is really available or not? I don't think that. Okay, 20. And you can see here Stephen King's one, two. It's not hat. Is nothing but actually giving here uh, the bellus count. Okay, so that is quite big. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. So if we're trying to make it 20, let's try to make it 20. And you can see here just having 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Like that, 20. So it's showing up the here the 20 records. Okay. So you can also change it. So let's see. Top authors, data.authors. 
we go do, we go to the authors and do the value counts and trying to show the number 20 right then you're going to using here the bar float and inside this bar float you're going to uh, give here the top number authors the inside the x number we give here the x top author dot value and the y upper top author dot index because y is nothing but my index number i mean how many values are available and orientation is nothing but the h i mean horizontal if you try to make it vertical so let's try to make it it's, you can see here in a vertical order in a vertical order so let's try to make it 10 so that you can see it correctly it's the vertical order and you can see this nothing but the number of books 29 is nothing but called the uh, mercy lackey and 40 you can see here the old house so it's depend king but you need to also making the x should be in the axis column so that's why it's better you can make it vertical to the edge so that you can get here the uh, uh, number of things well otherwise you need to change all of the thing here i mean you need to also change the y and you need to also change the x because based on the value it will show me the axis value right so let's see if it make it a hand shift enter and number of, of books per author i mean it's showing you the number of books based on the authors i mean how many books are written by the each of the authors then what i can do we simply going to convert this obvious rating to the numerical data see if i go up you can see here uh this value of the distribution book id is nothing but one integer so and the title is nothing but one object and author is also one object but the rating rating is also one object if i see the rating rating is nothing but point 4.03 4.26 who, which one is not a string so that's why i need to convert this data into the numerical data so how can i do you can using here the pd dot numerics and you pass here the, our data average rating and you can give you the arrows at the co r c e simple simple then what i can do that we can going to uh, we can also going to combine it okay otherwise you can drop it otherwise you can drop it okay so what i can do but we need here the book content and also the title and also the authors so create a new column that's called the book title book content book content that's going to create here a book content which one combining of the title and the authors see if i go inside my data set you can see it having a book id book id meant this book id and it having one title and it having the authors so what i can do is simply going to combine this title and also the with the authors with a new column with a new column so that's why you're going to using here we're going to using here this one let's try to run it out we try to create a new column that's called the books content books content if you're trying to see the data let's say data dot head then you can see then you can see here a new column that's called the books content if you're trying to make it let's say if you try to remove this print and if you're trying to re read it you can see here the books id the title the authors the average rating right so what you can do you can simply combine this title and the authors simply going to combine these titles and authors and make and make one extra column make one extra column that's called the that's called the books content but when you're trying to run this code inside the bs code of the python you took using here the print statement so that's why i try to use in a print statement here but when you're trying to run it in the jupyter notebook or the google Colab, better you can actually just uh, give here the variable name okay so we using here the books content so now what i can do we can simply going to uh, convert our data into the tf idea back to riser so for that what i can do we can simply using this tf idea back to riser and we're going to making here the stop what should be english because this is nothing but one english tax so they are not hindi or the bangla text is available then we're going to using this books content i mean this books content we're just looking for the books content Knox title and an author so what i can do is can simply use this books content and try to convert them this books content into the tf idea back to result. now based on this books content we are trying to recommend the books we're trying to recommend the books so what i can do is simply going to run it here simply going to run it here so we got some error so books content is not available books content is not available uh okay so what i need to go i need to run it from the first so let's try to run it here okay it's about a job okay run okay okay done completed now what i can do compute the cosine similarity between the books so cosine similarity is actually important when you're trying to one trying to build one recommendation systems based on the cosine similarity so now the question is what is actually cosine similarity what is actually cosine similarity so now we're going to see the cosine similarity what is actually cosine similarity and how it is work in the recommendation system so this is the rules for the cosine similarity or also can the cos x and y so x and the y is nothing but my features column now the rules is cos x equal to x dot product of y divided by absolute value of the x cross absolute value of the y 
Then you can say, let's say I have the some values of the x called 3, 2, 0, 5. Those are nothing but my uh, value of the features factor. Then we have the y that's called the 1, 0, 0. Then what I can do is simply going to calculate it. Let's say 3 x dot product y. That's mean we need to do the multiplication 3 cross 1, 2 cross 0, 0 cross 0, and the 5 cross 0. And after that, we calculate that we got here the 3. Then we're taking the absolute value, absolute value of the x. So what I can do, you can simply go into using the 3 square plus 2 square plus 0 square plus 5 square and try to add them and do the square root of them. And after that, we get here 6.16 value of the absolute value of the x. Then after that, we got here the y. After that, we got here the y. And you, you can see here uh, for same things for the y also, 1 square plus 0 square plus 0 square plus 0 square and x square root, we got here 1. Now what I do, we need to put the value inside our cos x. So if I put here the cos x value for the x dot product y, the value is 3 and it having a 6.16 square 1. How you divide them, we got here 0 point, 0 point 0.49. So this is nothing but my similarity value. This is nothing but my similarity value. If the value of the theta is nothing but 0%, that means it's 100% similar. It's 100% similar. If the value is 90%, if the value is 90%, that means it's called dissimilar. This box is not similar. So we got here the 0.49. I mean 0.49% show that this box is similar. This box is similar. And now how can you calculate the dissimilar? You can calculate the dissimilarity using the 1 minus cos of x and y. And dissimilarity is nothing but a 0.51. That means 0.51% this box is dissimilar and 0.49% this box is similar. Like that, the cosine similarity actually work. Cosine similarity actually work. Okay, so now what you can do, you can be using the linear kernel. So using linear kernel, you actually do the cosine similarity. We already import it here. That's called the linear kernel from the scalar.matrix.pairwise. Then what I can do is simply going to pass here our, our X matrix and the Y matrix. So X matrix is nothing but my TFID matrix and also TFID matrix. I mean the same matrix, same matrix you're going to pass in here the TFID matrix and the TFID matrix because we have the same bill of the X and the same bill of the Y. So based on the back row, we're going to, we are going to calculate the similarity. So which one is very similar? We're trying to recommend this box to the users, right? Then what you can do, simply going to run it here. Now we define here on functions. So which one taking the title of the all of the users? I mean title from this uh, data set and you're going to combine them title based on index number, right? Then get the index of the box that match the title. Let's say I'm going to give you the same all small mate in America. So what it, it can do, it can go for inside of a data set and trying to inside go to the title and checking for checking for the index number. This index number, I mean the book ID. And now based on that, it will get the cosine similarity for all the books with the data set, with the data set. I mean, inside this data set, which value is similar to that? Which value is similar to that? Then based on the value, we're going to short them based on our similarity score. Let's say it having a 0.49% similarity. Let's see it having the 10% similarity. It have the 90% similarity. And based on the similarity, you will try to short the box. Short the box based on your input. Then it will get the top 10 most similar blocks excluding the input box. Let's say I'm giving you here, here Sam all made made in America. It will try to neglect them. And after that, it will actually give me here the 10 recommendations board based on your selections. Then it will get the box indices, I mean box index name from our data set and trying to print it uh, using the ILAC function. Simple as it is, simple as it is. See, first you're taking the title and get the index number. And after that, you're checking for the cosine similarity that you can see already uh, make it. Then after that, you're going to short it based on my similarity value. I mean, which one is very similar based on that. And after that, we are going to collect in the 10 most similar books. And after that, we are going to checking for the similarity score get the book number indices, I mean, which number index is selected. Then after that, we're going to returning the data. So what I can do, I'm simply going to run it. And now I'm, I'm also trying to run it here. Now see, this is nothing but my index number. This is nothing but my index number. And based on the index number, it having the box to recommend me the box. It's called the Dumpy Valentine's, see you around Sam, uh, the song of the Rhinon, the Deming Management Method, uh, Buried Child, the Water Box, to try to recommend them, let's say seven plus. Let's say I'm trying to copy this on seven plus and trying to import it here. Import. You can also try to create one extremely applications 
um, also and I already make some so much recommending system like Netflix recommending system uh, iska baat hai music recommending system you can also follow them you can follow them to building this kind of recommending systems and try to make one web application on that so you can see here it will try to give me some suggestions so the bullet child uh, same self all men made in america you also suggest them the same books right so this is how the books recommending system actually work uh, in the case of the machine learning right so that's it for today now hope you enjoy the tutorial and make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll be back with another tutorial in the same time 6 pm in this youtube channel so thank you and bye bye